welcome to Norris Cove. I'm Yoshida. Today we are doing our paycheck to paycheck weekly check in, weekly budget for me. Um, we are doing our budget for the week of October the 17th through the 21st. I want to make sure that I'm correct, but before I do that, let's go over last week. Oh. Matter of fact, I normally have this updated. Let me, um, what I do is I go through my salon section and at the end of the week, after everyone has paid, I write down um, what I made, y'all. It was so good. So, so good. I had an excellent week. So, we ended up making fourteen fifty-five in Norris Cove. Um, now, <laughs> I mean, excuse me. Here, Norris Cove. I was really <sighs> tripped out because the sub box is sold. Um, but I must say, I've not looked at the actual thing because I've been kind of holding the money and just letting it, you know, just stack up. But we did make more than $20. Um, I want to put, ooh, what's today? Today is Tuesday or Monday? Tuesday. So I'm going to put like it was $67. And then miscellaneous, I got 40 because that's what I took out of my envelopes. So that is correct. And it was actually 45, I remember. Okay, so let's add that up. Did I even say hello? <laughs> because I just jumped in, like immediately jumped in. We made a total of 1567. Hey. And for some reason, I thought it was more than that, but maybe it wasn't. So we ended up making a total of fifteen sixty-seven. Wow. Okay. So anyway, um, we got that. Canva came out. We paid that. Chase, they got their money. Uplift got their money. Capital One. They got their money like this week. And booth rent, I did pay $300. I don't recall paying anything extra. I did get products, and I think I spent about that. Gas that came through. Emergency funds and all of that. That was in my envelope breakdown. Um, cash stuffing. So if you saw that, that was that. So we ended up doing almost double than what we had anticipated. So... I am super excited about that. So, if we would have had, I'm looking at what we, $629.86 in bills. And then also, in the notes, um, I'm going to put celebrated hubby's birthday. And then girls day. So, we went out Sunday, made candles, had to pay for those tickets, and we went out to eat. And then I treated the family for my husband's birthday. So <clears throat> let's look at this week. We have it here. I'm going to go to, I think I did get my monthly set up finally for October um, because at first I just didn't have it set up. So this is my monthly set up for October. And we are on the week of the 17th. Excuse me, I said the 21st through the 23rd. Okay, so if you are new here, these inserts are available on my website. I am currently using Half Letter. This is the Taupe Paycheck Budget. So when you look up Paycheck Budget, look up Taupe as well as there. And um, yeah, so what we're guesstimating, I just use this portion of it, the other income. I wanted to make these inserts so they are not just for self-employed like myself, but also those who get a paycheck. So we're gonna put hair. Um y'all is let me look at my again, let me look at my schedule because I'll stick with 700, but let me see how it's looking for the week. These pages, I need to help and get those out because I put them on thin paper. Yeah, this week is looking a little slow. Let's go for um let's go for six hundred. Let's go for 600. I'm going to put 650. Um, Norris Cove. I already kind of know I've gotten some money this week. We're going to put um, two. 60. 260. 
and then but really this is not income because it's kind of going back into the business but just in case and i've already started paying stuff for the box out of my own money but this is just kind of going back and then miscellaneous just in case we need something and so <clears throat> the bills that i do this week we have barclays which i've paid citibank and I've redone these um, inserts, so I need to print the new ones off. The only thing that is different about these inserts is that the due date is over here now, and then bill is here. So, Citibank was due on the 17th. On the 18th was Barclays. I paid those, but they'll come out at some point this week. Citibank, I think we gave them $77. Barclays... They got me down at $97. Like, I'm, oh, I cannot wait to pay Barclays off. Like, seriously. Um, then we have our car note on the 20th. Okay, so I just realized I received a um, thing saying that my note fell like on a Saturday. And I'm like, how is that? So, but I changed the date. I forgot I changed the date. So it's 181.63. And then we have T-Mobile. <laughs> I'm just writing it down, but they want like four something. I don't see that happening, um, but I'm going to write them down anyway, and I'll see where they fit in on my budget. So on Friday, it's like 486. I don't see that happening, but let's just add it up. I already know T-Mobile's not getting paid this week. I mean, it just is what it is. Um, they might get something, but they're not getting 400 almost $500 from me. It's just not happening. Um, matter of fact, I'm just going to take them off because I don't know what I'm going to give them. And I just don't want to throw my whole budget off. Uh, sinking funds, I like to use a total of 100 Uh We will do this when we do our cash stuffing. I think that'll just be best. So let's add up what we're spending this week in bills. So we have $655.63. And what I did was I added booth rent in the number, but didn't write it down because I forgot. And that'll be $300. And then this will be my last payment. So then I'll go back to $250 because I did. Oh, you know what? Miscellaneous. I made $80 this week. So let me add that. Helping my um, co-worker, the young lady who owns the shop. And so that helped me out a lot. And we're not doing any debt and expenses. I don't need any gas this week. I don't need anything extra. Um, I'm going to put a note down here for T-Mobile. I'm telling you, I need a good note section and a budget. I'm trying to tell you. So I'm putting T-Mobile. Um, and I'm just putting in parentheses, pay something. And that I just keep them off for me for a good little while. Um, total income, we, let's do our total income. We have $990 for our total income. Not too bad. Total bills is $655.63. I didn't do my total expenses. Um, sinking funds, I'm putting 100 because that's what I'm trying to use. And then total debt payment, there is none. So let's add all of this up. I'm going to take and subtract the total income from my total bills. And that leaves me $234.30 left. But total bills and um, total sinking funds is $755.63. And so we're going to take the $990 again and subtract it from $755.63. 
now. So we have a remaining of $234.37 after we pay our bills, after our sinking funds, which we like to spend $100. That leaves me a nice little leverage. This pretty much is the money from Norris Cove here. And this money, like I said, I'm not planning to use that money. I mean, I'm going to use it, but it's going back into the business. It's not like paying my personal bills. So that is like perfect. Like as the last I checked, it was about, um, oh, it was a little bit more than this actually. But we'll see if it hits the bank tomorrow. So yeah, that is perfect. That's going right back into the business. So that is technically not mine. And I have this $100 to put into sinking funds. So that is it, you guys. Um, that is it for this week. And I'm sorry, I think I'm a day late, but um, it's okay. I'm just trying to play catch up on some things. And of course, if you don't know already, I am launching the budget box. I'll try to leave a pic somewhere around here. Feel free to go to my website or check out the community tab. And you can see all about the budget box. So I've been focused there, and but still trying to get my content in and all that great stuff. And still offer you guys quality content. So um, that is it for this week's budget. It's looking pretty good. Like I said, I've listed everything. Um, I've already paid Chase. I've already paid... Um, no, this is the wrong side. <laughs> um, I've already paid these things, but they haven't came out yet. Um, matter of fact, um, well, that was, money was already in the bank. Anyway, I've already paid these things, but they haven't come out yet. So, car note hasn't come out yet. I mean, I haven't paid it. It hasn't, you know, been scheduled. The money's not there for that. But it is there for these other bills and then my booth rent. So, this week is kind of hmm, not too bad. It's just these credit cards. So, I can't wait. Wait to get rid of Barclays, really, like, seriously. But that is it for today, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. If today is your first time watching any of my videos and you enjoyed today's video, please do me a favor, hit that subscribe button, also hit that notification bell, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.